day started early again. It was up at 3 a.m. on the road for 4 a.m. I'm now in a very cold, damp park, although it will get hotter later. It's going to be about 30 degrees again, going to be a hot one. Uh, yeah, and here I am doing the COVID testing or the pass, yeah, screening. So, yeah, I got all my, all my bits. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's cold and it's dark and it's damp and the grass is wet and not very nice at the minute, but it will be later. Yeah, so this is me for the next couple of hours. Well, there are certainly worse places to be. Look at that, the sun's coming out. It's beautiful. Just, uh, yeah, just, just finish the, uh, the screening, the COVID screening. And now I'm just entertaining myself. Uh, yeah, there's my little hut there. There's all the uh, all the trucks. And then we're in this beautiful, beautiful field. This is uh, the grounds of uh, I don't know a big estate house. Yeah, so, yeah, beautiful clear blue skies. It's going to be a hot one. About 30 degrees, I reckon. All right, so just got home from work about an hour or so ago. I uh, left early because I got in early. So uh, once my work is done, i.e. doing the COVID screening, and that's an irony in itself that I do the COVID screening because I'm kind of a skeptic. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, it's just uh, something they want me to do because of the way I am and my personality and all that sort of stuff. I'm good with people. Anyway, so got home and need to train. So I've got a couple of extra hours, so I'm gonna use that time to train. Uh, first, let me give you a bicep shot, you know, the old blah, blah. <laughs> the old blah, blah bicep shot. Ooh, yeah, yeah. There we go, bicep shot. Mm. Inject. Anyway, so uh, yeah, what are we are gonna do today? 30 minutes on the bike, and then I'm gonna do a barbell complex, yeah? Just five exercises, one after the other, 10 sets of each, uh, barbell complex. Just good all round sort of functional training. Yeah, functional training. None of this one rep max injuring myself. No, just weights that I can work with, not ego lifting like uh, blah, blah. Yeah, no ego lifting, no one rep max rupturing a spinal disc or tearing an erector, none of that nonsense. Just good functional training using weight that I can use comfortably, yeah? And get a good, good workout with, yeah? Get the heart rate up, get a sweat on, all that stuff. Real training, yeah? Anyway, so also what I was thinking of doing is, um, doing a blah blah style Q&A. How about that? So um, if you like the sound of that, uh, leave some comments down below, but uh, make them questions, yeah? Make them questions. Could be, what do you think of uh, blah blah's new video? <laughs> what do you think of his new injury? What do you think of him putting 65 pounds worth of bands on a bench press, a pin press? Um, why not just put 65 pounds worth of weight on the bar instead of disguising it with some bands? Oh, it's 225 plus 65 uh, pounds of uh, band tension. Just put the 55, uh, 65 on the bar. You know, you're not even taking it down to your chest. You're pin pressing it, which means you got... The pin press is just the coward's way of doing a bar press, uh, a, a bench press, yeah, for him anyway. It's because he can't get it, once it gets to his chest, because his, his shoulders are shot. Once it gets to his chest, he can't get it off because his shoulders are shot. It's the same with a deadlift. That's why he has to do, so, uh, sorry, not the deadlift. It's the same with the squats. That's why he has to do a box squat, you know, sit on a box. Sit on those mats halfway through the squat. Because once he goes arse to grass, he can't get up. We've seen him fail 
We've seen him fail when he did that uh, silly little regional meet like years ago. He went down, he went down too far and he couldn't get it up and they had to take the bar off his back. Yeah? This is why he, uh, he's got the coward's way out, the pussy way out. He puts the mats down because he knows if he goes too deep, he can't get up. Same with the pin press. He knows if he goes too deep on his chest, he can't get it off his chest and he'll be pinned like Stubin. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a safety mechanism for someone who doesn't know what they're doing. It's the sort of thing amateurs use, yeah? Oh, I can't get it all the way. You know, why not use a weight you can handle? That's my question. Anyway, ask a question down below. Like I say, it could be about one of his new videos, it could be about a, a fail, it could be about an injury, yeah? It could be about anything. But ask me down below and I'll give you my answer, yeah? How about that? It should be fun. Uh, all right, so let's chat more training. Start the music! So working up the sweat without the, uh, the sweatsuit, purely because it's been like 30 degrees today. I think it's about 85 Fahrenheit, something like that. So yeah, just, uh, just working out t-shirt and shorts because it is so hot. Even with the fan on, it's hot. And that's a real fan, not a pretend fan, a fake fan. It's a real fan. Let's see what we've done. All right, so currently cruising at 20. 21 kilometers an hour. We've covered just under 11 kilometers. Uh, 164 calories burned, the magic 164. 662 kilometers traveled in total. And 31 minutes, there we go. So we're gonna stop this now. And we're gonna do the barbell complex. Good, solid, functional training real training.
mine. The time is now 7.30 p.m. I've been awake since 3 a.m. Yeah, I was at work at 5 a.m. I'm still awake, I'm still training. I haven't stopped, yeah? If I haven't been working, I've been traveling to or from work, yeah? 3 a.m. wake up. Hour to get to work, five o'clock. Do my day's work, get home, cook a good meal. That's ready for when Mel gets home. And then I train for a good hour. And it wasn't no stupid training. It wasn't no Mickey Mouse training. You know, real functional training. Yeah, you know, it's not getting a load of rubber bands out and chains and, you know, support bars and little stacks of mats to sit on. I did 30 minutes on the bike, sweating, yeah? I did a full body functional barbell complex, yeah? And now I finish off with 100 hanging leg raises, yeah? Complete head to toe, inside and out training. Yeah, if you want to get fit, you want to get strong, and you want to get a functional body, it's going to last. And uh, withstand injuries, that's the sort of stuff you've got to do. Yeah. Whew, I've been training a long time. Yeah, I stopped here and there, got a bit fat here and there. But the fat's coming off. It's because I know how to train properly. Yeah. Not 20 years in the iron game and looking like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> anyway. So just really talking about uh, the question and answers, yeah, the, uh, just ask me a question. So we'll probably do this once a week, yeah, on a Monday, how about that? Every Monday, I want you guys to write a question down below, and I'll pick, say, the, the top three, yeah? So I'll just go through, see what questions look like fun to answer, and they can be about anything, anything, yeah, it can be about who knows, you know, it could be about motorbikes, it could be about the movie business, <laughs> it could be about training, it could be about martial arts, it could be about judo, it could be about BB guns, it could be about drones, it could be about anything, yeah? Camping, van life, whatever, I haven't got a van yet, but I'm getting one very soon, as soon as uh, winter comes, when the prices dip a little bit, because you never buy a motorbike, a convertible, or anything like a camper van in summer, and we're just coming out of summer now. Buy that stuff in winter, you get thousands off your asking price. So you can spend your budget, but get a better van, or a better motorbike, or a better convertible for your money, yeah? So it's just sensible. You buy your summer stuff in winter, you buy your winter stuff in summer. It just makes sense, it's cheaper, yeah? It's good to save money. All right, so yeah, ask me some questions down below, and uh, the top three, I'll, uh, I'll answer in the next video, yeah? How about that? That could be fun. And it could be about blah, blah, or anything. Like I say, it could be about his injury, how he got his injury, what sort of, what he's really up to. I don't, anything. It could be anything, yeah? Ask me anything. All right, guys, I gotta get ready. I gotta get showered, because I'm sweating, and that's real sweat. It's not water I chucked on off camera, and then walked on pretending to be sweating and been working out hard, no. Real sweat, no need for that fake shit. Anyway, hope it was informative. Like, subscribe, share, tell a friend, tell a family. Until next video, I'm out of here. I know why trash piece of shit, I'm better than you all. How can I learn you? How can I read you? How can I thank you? And I can out-philosophize you. And I'm gonna outlast you.